What's this? This was a beautiful dining chair that matched the rest of my dining chairs. So. I broke it. That's what happened. I leaned back, I broke it. You could watch that clip like me doing it right here. Yeah. That's a video of me. Uh, and it happened. Yeah. <laughs> so. I have an uneven set of dining chairs, but now I have one set of, of a vanity, vanity chair. chair. <laughs> <laughs> so I made him rip off the top where it broke off, which where it broke off was perfect, perfect place. Yeah, there's uh, some wooden dowels that connect like the backrest to this bottom piece, mm -hmm. and I broke the dowel, so I. Cut it off with the oscillating tool, sanded it down, and now we have this. Yes. So imagine these front dowels up here. It's very pretty chair. But now it's half the chair, and it's not the color I wanted for my vanity. And so we're gonna create what I wanted. And we have chalk paint. Yeah, we're gonna use this new chalk paint and this decorative finish wax from Bear. Yes. Um, with a Bear brush, which yeah, is apparently you need to use a chalk brush. It's important to know that we are using picking apples. Yes, is picking our apples. color. Picking apples green um, in the deep base. And a little backstory on why we chose that color. We want our bathroom to be kind of woodsy and a little getaway. So lots of browns and greens and just calmness and peace. And we'll see how it goes. We'll, we're going to start from the beginning and you will be on this journey with us. And so she knows all the stuff we're supposed to do with this uh, chalk paint. Apparently you're supposed to paint it and then sand it with something and then use this wax to finish it. There's like way more into this than regular painting. So it'll either come out magnifical or you'll see this just a black chair. Which is a high, high possibility. <laughs> so let's uh, put this to the side. First things first. First things first. First things first. Get yourself a giant hair scrunchie. We need to uh, take it apart. All right. She's gonna be a beaut. Flip her on over. Flip her on over. So we need an Allen wrench. Allen. Sorry, that's how you take off the legs. Alright. She meant to say she needs a Phillips. What he said. Oh, I'm so excited. This is the best part. Step one. Satisfying. No more cushion. Pull the cushion. No more cushion for your butt. So, for the your, cushion. For your tuchus. The cushion is a fabric. Polyester. Do you want to take everything apart? Paint each piece? Or paint it like this? I think we should paint it like this. I can see you working through it. We're going for gold here. All right, well. Now you have me thinking. Who cares? I want to keep it together. Okay. We're going to keep it together. Maybe not my patience, but more my talents and painting. Definitely keep this chair together. Uh, but the, the cushion, I would like to redo in leather one day, just because we have dogs. But for now, oh, and check out this brush. It's nice and ovally. 
on the nuts and creams. Open her up, babe. So to start off with, we need a wet rag to wipe it all down, just to clean it up. This is mostly for like older furniture that hasn't been touched in years, but I can't risk the chances. That'll work. How this would react to this color? I don't think it'll react. I feel like it's pretty thick paint, right, babe? I feel like it'll be thick color. I've never done chalk paint, so if you have any cute projects you've done, throw them down, let us see them. Yeah, I'm really interested to actually see what other people did with chalk paint. So I'm gonna do a, once he's done, I'm gonna do a first coat. We're gonna let it dry for 30 minutes come back and do a second coat. Now, I don't know if this is correct. I'm just going off of general knowledge. Right. And I'm very nervous. Right. No, there's no going back. There is. Well, I guess with chalk paint, it's very forgiving. Easy. Keep those fingies. Should we, wait, wait, wait. Did you shake it up? I don't know. Oh, good. I wasn't paying attention. Woo! Go show them that color. Look how pr pretty that color is. That color is so pretty. My goodness. Okay. Have fun. So this is the chalk pink that is a dark base. So it's a deep base instead of the white base. Babe, what if there's no going back? My poor vanity chair. It'll be fine, love. Should we paint the top tops? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, I'll paint the top. Should we get a close-up of this round? So they can sh see why we're painting this in the first place? We should have mentioned that. Yeah. Uh, well, can't see you guys. I'm upside down! So the main reason we did it is because of... Not her pretty face. <gasps> <laughs> because of these, where it broke and where I sanded it down. It's doesn't look insane. good. It really doesn't look good. So we want to at least be happy and be proud of what's in our bathroom. So I think what's more prouder than actually doing something yourself? I don't know. So Me doing it. Okay. We're going to let her do her thing. <sighs> Sweating. <gasps> this is the first swipe. Maybe I should show you guys the first swipe. What if I first it swipe. I need some encouragement. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Woo! Whoa. The first swipe. That looks so good. I'm going to zoom in on that. That looks. Oh, that's the zoom out. That looks so good. So you want to do it in long strokes, I don't know why. That looks so good. Wow. So one solid edges. So you can still see through it a little bit, but that's okay. We're going to do a second coat. So, I think, I think everyone knows how to do this, now that she showed us that you do long, even strokes. So we're going to speed this up, and then you'll see us uh, do it, obviously. We'll see you but, in two minutes. Yeah, probably less than two minutes. It'll probably be like 10 seconds for you guys. But uh, let her be, and we'll... Well, I'll be back when uh, every when time slows down. So we'll get bye. me a sweet tea. Do you want one?
Alright guys. 30 minutes is up. First coat is done. I'm gonna unwrap my brush. And it's still kept. Good tip. It worked. It's really good. It hasn't even dried a bit. We're going yeah. to now. Who's who's gonna make it? So thank you to her for giving us the instructions on what to do here. Yes. So we're following her video of... I actually went back and watched a few of her videos before, just making sure I got all the calculations right, which I did. She used different products than me, but... She also has a de-stressing video, which I'm on the fence about de-stressing this. I think I'm... it looks really good, to be honest. Does that color not look like 50 times better than the other color it was? I have, I have like a hundred chairs on the inside that are the other color, so I cannot say anything. Or we're going to be out here DIYing all this shit. Well, let me reiterate. This looks really good for this chair. Yeah, this chair is looking rough. It, I think this green is a little too potent for a full chair. I would do a blue. A blue might be nice. Yeah, I would I would do a blue. A nice muted blue. So what do you do here? It's perfect. Just don't worry about charm. it. Charm! It's the charm. Probably just too much paint. Yeah, well, maybe. No, it looks it's really good. It does, it does look a little chalky. So, fun facts. Chalk paint is not made from chalk. It's because of the consistency and the look that it gives when you paint with it. Also, fun fact, I forgot what the fun fact is. What's the other fun fact, Kim? It'll come to us. Maybe never. There is another fun fact. There is a fun fact. not this chalk paint. Like, writable chalk paint is completely different than this chalk paint. Which, I don't know. I've tried using chalk on this. I don't think it did right. I feel like chalk writes really well. So I don't think it did. I have a hard surface this time. I will say this brush sheds a bit, which is kind of disappointing. Oh. Let's talk about this brush. That brush is $3. This isn't a very, this is an investment. The brush alone was $30, which the can, no, wow. Which the can of paint was $24. So it costs more to buy the brush than it is to buy the quart of paint. Just so you are aware. But apparently you need to use it, yada, yada, yada. The fact that it's shedding is really disappointing. I'm not That's actually about. a good You have to wait two hours to do the wax, but it's getting late. She's getting tired, so we're gonna actually. We're gonna wash this paintbrush because we're gonna use it for the wax. And I am going to wash it with soap and water. And I will say, brush strokes do matter. And 
make sure you get any of the extra paint that drips. You can apparently buff it out, but it's just easier to catch it before it drops. That was another tip from Dina or Deanna. So just first thoughts, me looking at it right now, I actually really like it. I think it'll fit really well in our bathroom. I absolutely love this color and I want to paint more things with it. So. I'm on the fence about the color. I will have to see it when it all comes together, but I think I will like it. Comment. She's the hard, she's the hard one. I am, I'm very picky. But comment below if you like the color and if you don't, what color you want it to see. And comment below. To give a sneak peek. Comment below if you're gonna try this project out, what you're gonna do it on. I think it'll be all right. Comment, also comment below if you wanna see it distressed or not distressed. I'm leaning towards maybe. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna leave it up to you if we distress it or not. So if we distress it, it will be another video. It won't be on this video, but it's up to you. So leave a comment down below if you want to see us distress it and uh, give you tips and tricks that we get when we actually do it. Because it is thick. It's really thick. You have like, to make sure that. Uh, but that's one of the benefits. You don't have to sand it down before you start. At least I didn't. I just straight up did it. I mean, this was a newer prop piece. So it didn't have anything gross or old on it. There was no big nicks besides the top, which we did sand technically. Um, but I think it's going to come out great. We will see. <laughs> and we might give you a sneak peek of what it looks like in the back. No, we will. We I'll have to clean up the back. That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> Alrighty, so we'll see you two hours plus. Two hours. It'll be one second for you, but about ten hours for us. Ten blissful, <laughs> sleepy, I'm going to bed after this, hours. Yes. So, ready? I think we should just clap them. Yeah, so, so you can do the chalk paint 
two ways. You can leave it like this. You can leave it like that. And it's a matte and it's silky. Or what we're going to do is we're going to put wax on it, which will give it a satin finish. So it'll have a little bit of shine. Mm -hmm. The reason why we're doing that is because this is going in the bathroom and the moisture. You have to do some protection to the chair. Yeah. 100%. So there is like there is a clear white and a, dark. and a dark, like a black. And I was thinking about doing like a nice black just for it to look older and more rustic, but we watched a few videos on other people doing the dark and it just looked uh, dirty. So. In fact, one of the videos, he described it as, it looks dirty. Yeah. Uh, let's so. go find the paint thing that I left there and then Shove her butt back over underneath. She's she's so dumb. This is why she has hips problems. She has enough bad luck. I don't think the ladder has. So here we have the finished product. Yep. I think it looks phenomenal. And if you want the wax, wax. And if you have any broken furniture, I'd say give it a give it a whirl. If you want to just try out chalk paint on something that you don't like, try it out and then do, I think do it, it on gives something it a new like. life. Yeah, I did not like it before. Um, it just didn't match our decor. Yeah. So this is a lot better. I think. Changing the top, I, I really want something leather, maybe a lighter. And if you wanted to stress, you would do it at this point yes. using an extra fine sanding block and you'll just run it on the edges. But don't run it everywhere because naturally distressed stuff isn't distressed in every single corner. So be sure to space it out and give it some breathing room to make it look more natural. So that's it. I hope this helped you. Uh, I want to thank, uh, oh my god, what was her name? DIY Gina? Gina DIY? So, I just want to thank DIY Gina or Gina DIY. 
Her link is in the description. I also want to thank Evan and Caitlin for the paintbrush tip. Link in the description. And subscribe, like. We have a lot more. Up. And this is about this pack. Join the pack. Subscribe.